Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Since at least where I live, we're in the very midst of summer. For today's video, I've prepared a list of 16 cheap, fresh, summertime clone fragrances. And I'll try to go over them as quickly as possible. So, let's go. I'm going to start off the video by showing you a few Latafa fragrances, a total of four Latafa fragrances. And the first one is called Mahir Legacy, part of the Mahir line of uh, fragrances from uh, Latafa. And this one is uh, cloning uh, Parfum de Marlis Sedley, or it's uh, like a heavy inspiration. It's a very nice, easy to wear fragrance that's very fresh, very citrusy, very minty. You get some spices on the dry down, you're introduced to some sweetness, you get lots of ambroxan, all around a very likable, very easy, very refreshing scent that's super versatile. Uh, the best time to wear this one is in the summer, but you can wear this all year round, very masculine scent. And also, at least my bottle has a very, very decent performance for the scent that it actually carries. The second Latafa fragrance uh, comes from their original Pride line and it's called Alkiam Silver. And this one is uh, cloning uh, Bulgari's Tiger, a very, very good clone of Tiger. You get that very grapefruity, uh, slightly citrusy opening that has a nice grapefruit note. Uh, you get some musk, you get some spices, some oodsiness on the dry down, you get uh, some ambery sweetness. Again, another very masculine fragrance. And this one is uh, a kink when it comes to versatility. Can be worn pretty much all year round. It has enough performance to work even in cold weather. It's a compliment getter, has very good performance all around. A very nice, very likable, very masculine fragrance. That, uh, and I really like that. Uh, original DNA and all the good clones of Tiger. So Next I'm going to show you something sweeter, something a little bit more youthful, but at the same time having enough freshness in it. It uh, again comes from Latafa, part of the Hayati line and it's the black bottle, the Hayati Black. This one is a clone of Paco Rabanne's Invictus, very similar to the original fragments. As I said, very sweet, kind of has a bubblegummy sweetness, has enough freshness, maybe a hint of an aquatic note in here. Very useful, very playful scent that again works pretty much all year round. Has pretty decent performance. It's very versatile, but has a bit of an age factor. I think this is more orientated for the younger guys. Can work as a gym scent as well as a date night scent all around. A very easy to wear, very likable fragrance from the Hayati line that also has a very, very decent performance. And the last of fragrance that I'm going to show you is from the Liam line and it's called Liam Blue Shine. And this one is... Uh, Cloning core is inspired by Aqua di Gio Profondo. In this case, carries uh, again a very recognizable scent uh, of the original uh, Aqua di Gio line. You get that uh, again, very masculine, very fresh, slightly spicy and oozy scent. That's a little bit darker compared to the OG Aqua di Gio. You know, the Profondo feels a little bit more modern, but again, very recognizable, sort of a very classic masculine fragrance that. Uh, Pretty much works all year round once again has a very good performance in fact this is a little bit better performing than the uh, you know the current formulations of uh, profondo the og and uh, again it's super super versatile very masculine and just all around a very likable and easy to wear fragrance and now let's move on to a few mason alhambra scents the first one that i'm going to show you is pretty similar to the last latafa that i showed you again it's cloning a member of the aqua di Gio line but in this case it's a clone of aqua di Gio profumo the fragrance the clone fragrance is called jorge di profumo and again this is a pretty nice inspiration of the original fragrance Again, another very, very masculine, very fresh and easy to wear scent that has a very classic uh, edge to it. This one though, a little bit darker compared to uh, Profondo. The Profumo is uh, known for having this uh, a little bit of an incense uh, vibe into it uh, that in the scent profile that makes it a little bit darker, maybe makes it a little bit more wearable in colder weather as well, but it still works in warm weather, no problem. Jorge de Profumo is a nice interpretation of the original DNA. Lacks a bit of the strength of that uh, incense note that you get out of the original, but other than that, it's again another very masculine, very easy to wear, very likable scent. My next suggestion is for those of you guys who are looking for a clone of uh, Dior Homme Sport. And again, it comes from Mason Alhambra and it's called Dark Door Sport. And again, another very, very masculine uh, fragrance that's very similar to the original scent. It's uh, citrusy, it's woodsy, it's spicy and it's musky. 
very similar to the original fragrance this feels a little bit sharper compared to the original feels uh, a little bit more musky lacks a bit of the quality which is to be expected but other than that this is actually a very uh, sort of an uh, good take on the original Dini. The original fragrance is very long lasting and very versatile and Dark Door Sport is again very very versatile masculine scent that works great in warm weather but can be worn in cold weather as well. My next suggestion from Mason Alhambra is called Porto Neroli and this one is cloning Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford. Again pretty similar to the original fragrance not only bottle wise has a very uh, nice, very fresh uh, scent that has a, a lot of uh, citrusy freshness, has some floral touch to it, maybe a hint of spices, some sweetness, all around fe feels a very, very clean, uh, you know, scent. It works absolutely fantastic in uh, warm weather, in fact, in hot weather. All around, this is a, a basically the best time to use this one is in the hottest uh, months of the year, just like what we are in in the current time at least where I live. Performance is decent, nothing spectacular, but it's a very light and refreshing scent profile. You'll still get like four, five, six hours out of it. Uh, and all around has a very decent quality and comes decently close to the original scent. And my last Mason Alhambra suggestion is called Glacier Bolt. And this one is a cloning Le Beau Le Parfum from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Not one of my most favorite fragrances, the original one and this, but uh, it's a, a pretty decent interpretation of the original. Carries a very uh, nice, uh, sort of a nice scent profile. It has lots of uh, a coconut, very strong coconut note. There's some vanillic sweetness, you get some tonka bean sweetness and a bit of powderness, a bit of aromatic properties, some citrusy uh, freshness in the opening, all around a, a sort of a sweet fresh type of scent if that makes any sense. I would restrain from using this one in the hottest uh, days of the year because it can be a bit glowing but at the beginning and at the end of, uh, of the summertime, summer season when temperatures are not so high, this actually is a very nice fragrance to wear. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Rue Broca and it's called Nexa Immortal and this one is very heavily inspired by uh, Parfum de Marlis Greenlee. It's like a twist on greenly, but carries pretty similar scent. The opening is very fresh, you get a lot of citruses, you get some fruity sweetness in the opening, a hint of a floral, green, green floral touch. On the dry down becomes a bit more woody. There's a, a bit of a mossy vibe in this. You get some uh, a hint of ambery sweetness, uh, maybe on Broxon. A very modern scent that's again very likable, very easy to wear, very refreshing, uh, super versatile, it's masculine, can be worn all year round, but again the best time to wear this one is in the warmest months of the year. So the next fragrance that I'm going to show you is inspired by Louis Vuitton's L'Immensité, it comes from the brand of Fragrance World and it's called L'Infinite Jacques and this is another very uh, easy to wear, very likable fragrance that relies heavily on the note of ginger. In the opening you also get some bergamot, you get some grapefruit uh, freshness slash uh, sweetness. On the dry down you get some aquatic notes, you get quite a lot of ambroxan, some ambery sweetness, maybe a hint of a green touch as well. A fragrance that's pretty similar to, not pretty, but somewhat similar to Bulgari's Tiger and often the original gets compared to Tiger. And I can definitely say that this carries a similar DNA, but with added a uh, very strong ginger note. Very fresh fragrance, very masculine, again another super versatile scent that can be worn all year round, has a decently low price and uh, has decent performance for the fresh uh, scent profile that it carries. And my second fragrance world suggestion uh, is called uh, Simply Kaet, in fact this comes from uh, the Atur Al Alam sub brand of uh, Fragrance World and this is uh, another very interesting, very likable fragrance. In this case I think this is perfectly unisex, it carries, uh, I don't know what exactly it is cloning, but it carries uh, very similar vibes to a few very famous original scents. Uh, it carries some Paco Rabanne Invictus, Invictus Aqua uh, sort of an, uh, properties because it feels fresh, it feels kind of aquatic, feels quite a lot of uh, sweet as well. It also has an interesting uh, watermelon note in here that uh, adds even more sort of an uh, uh, a, another different and interesting uh, twist to the uh, scent DNA. It's pretty sweet but at the same time works great in the warm months of the year. Again as I said it's I think in my opinion it's a very uh, versatile fragrance and it's also perfectly unisex. Has a very decent performance for the scent profile that it carries and also is pretty cheap. My next two so, suggestions will be from the brand of Paris Corner and their autobiography line and the first one is called Citron Vanille and this one is inspired by Chanel Allure Homme uh, Edition Blanche. 
pretty similar to the original fragrance. It's very citrusy, has uh, a, a quite a bit of vanillic sweetness as the name would suggest, you know, citron vanilla. It also has some spices, it has quite a lot of uh, muskiness to it as well. Feels very clean, has ambery sweetness on the dry down, has a sort of a very soapy vibe uh, to it as well. Very easy to wear masculine fragrance that uh, works great in uh, warm weather. I mean, the, prob the only problem that I find with this fragrance is probably a little bit the lack of, uh, you know, performance, which is to be expected from uh, such a fresh scent. But still it offers pretty decent performance and you can always respray this one. And my second Paris Corner suggestion, again from the autobiography line, is called Salty Breeze. This one supposedly is inspired by Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now, I've never tried the original fragrance, but I can tell you that I like this one because it's a very... Um, very interesting and unique scent. Feels kind of green, feels aquatic, feels a little bit uh, sort of um, sweet as well, some ambery sweetness, there's a bit of musk, there's a bit of ambroxan in here. At the same time, feels kind of mineralic, there's a grapefruit note all around, a very, very interesting and unique scent that really works very, very nicely in the warmer months of the year. Performance here is surprisingly good considering how interesting and delicate the scent profile is. And in my opinion, this is a perfectly unisex fragrance. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Artal Zafran and it's called Alderham Limited Edition. And this is one of the stronger fresh scents that I have in my collection, to be honest. This one is a clone of uh, Allure Home Sports from Chanel, but it's like a sweeter take on the Allure Home Sports uh, DNA. It has a nice citrusy opening, there's a hint of greenness, but uh, there's also quite a bit of uh, ambery uh, sweetness and vanillic sweetness uh, to this fragrance. A hint of uh, powderness as well from a tonka bean note. It's a very strong and very loud fragrance that uh, outperforms the original absolutely no problem when it comes to longevity and when it comes to projection, especially the projection. This is a very loud, very sharp fragrance in the opening. It's a compliment getter, it's an easy to wear fragrance that again works best in the warm months of the year but has enough performance to actually work all year round. My next suggestion comes from the brand of our mouth and it's called Trenui Per Om and this one is cloning a green Irish tweet from Crete. A very ugly bottle that is something that uh, you should expect from the brand of uh, Armaf at this point. Uh, but other than that, it's actually a pretty decent clone of Green Irish Street. Carries that a very interesting, slightly green, slightly citrusy scent profile that has uh, some uh, lavender in it as well. There's some spices in here. There's a bit of sweetness on the dry down. Feels very fresh, feels very clean, feels very green. For me, this is like uh, taking a walk into uh, like a green forest uh, in the midst of summer. And my last suggestion comes from the brand of Al Haramein and it's called Junon Oud. And this one is a pretty similar fragrance to one of the earlier ones that I showed you from Latafa Alkiam Silver. Simply because what this is cloning, which is Sospiro's uh, Vibrato, is pretty similar to Bulgari's Tiger, what Alkiam Silver is cloning. Although this... The original vibrato feels a little bit darker, a little bit more of a serious take on that uh, same DNA. And uh, Junon Oud actually is a very, very good clone of a vibrato. It carries again a very similar scent profile. It has this uh, juicy opening that has citruses, that has grapefruit, has spices, has musk. But this feels more oozy, feels slightly less sweet and all around feels like a darker, more masculine take on that original DNA. Another very, very uh, versatile and very masculine scent that works all year round, has enough performance to work in cold weather as well as uh, warm weather. In fact, uh, the, the performance here is surprisingly good for a freshy and all around has a very, very nice quality. It's a little bit more expensive but still costs costs uh, a fraction of the price of the original. So guys, in today's video, I tried to quickly show you a total of 16 cheap, fresh, summertime clone fragrances. I hope that you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.